it looks like we're live. <clears throat> yep. Not yet. Okay. Being dumb again. I know what the date is, you idiot. Okay, let's see. Almost ready, just getting what? I'm making sure it's Okay. We're just getting a couple of technical things there situated here. Okay, we're good. We are good. Alrighty, everybody. Hello and welcome back to another illegally sighted mixer stream. This is Jesse here, aka BGFH, and Riley's on the other mic. Hello. So we are going to do another Sunday stream in the afternoon here because, you know, why the heck not? And uh, yeah, something a little lighter um, in these times. So hope everyone is doing well and socially <laughs> isolating and all that stuff. Uh, it will end eventually, but uh, for the meantime, let's uh, we'll just dive right in here. We'll entertain y'all for a bit. Yeah, we are going to go back. Um, I did do a full Let's Play of basically every little thing except for one really, really long um, mission that I re I'm never going to do. Um, but I did do a full playthrough on the YouTube channel. We are going to be playing some Stanley Parable, the Stanley Parable. And for those unfamiliar, this is a really funny... <laughs> I love that games like this exist. This came out a few years back. It's on Steam. Um, I believe it's also on the Epic Store. This game is just funny. Um, it is a first-person game, but it is not a shooter. You are basically this office drone. And... Hold on a minute. What in the world? What? What's wrong? I was like, what in the world was that? Uh, it was the sound effects, but um, I wonder... I gotta switch. Let me do something here really fast. I wasn't getting any audio on mine. Give me audio. Here we go. Sorry about that, guys. So, yeah. The Stanley Parable. Um, this is a goofy little game... Uh, not too many games do humor, and the ones that try it, eh, it's, it's a tough thing to do because, you know, a movie, a book, TV show, they're scripted. You know, you can do, you know when the jokes are going to be, you know how to lay them out, but a game, you know, you're kind of doing whatever, and you don't know what the player is going to do. But uh, this is one of my favorites, and I, I love, I would love it if a game would... Come out, <clears throat> come out like this at least like once a year. You know, we had this, we had Jazz Punk, which was a really trippy <laughs> game in itself. That game was weird. And we've had a couple other ones, but uh, so Stanley Parable. I'm just gonna let the game introduce itself. Anybody in yet? Um. Hopefully, I know Carl's gonna be joining us soon. Oh, if wait he, a minute. If he hasn't already. Yep, he's in. All righty, hey Carl, how you doing? Uh, yeah, we're back. So you're going to get a kick out of this one. You want something a little lighter. Um, I'm not going to really spoil anything. You hear some office sounds in the background. Uh, here we go. This is just a pretty funny game. So we're going to begin the game. And it's going to give us a little intro. It's going to load. <laughs> Almost done, about halfway, three, four, there we go. All right. This is the story of a man named Stanley. <laughs> Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. 
Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul winding, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. Zoom out of his little office cube there. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something the that would fair. forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to find. Greater than an no one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Alright, so the game begins. It's... <laughs> Uh, this game is kind of a walking simulator, but, you know, it's just one of those the terms that people use to call these types of games where there's no combat, there's not really any character interaction, but this game just gets weird. It's going to start innocently enough, but this game goes some interesting places. So we're in our office here. He says hello. Hey. <laughs> and, yeah, you know, you know what, this is actually about... He's got a little bit more of an L desk than I do, but his office is probably about the same as mine that I just upgraded to before I <clears throat> had to work from home. You know, I've had like two weeks or so, three weeks in my office, and then, yeah, had to work from home, so I don't get to sit in my brand new office with a door in it. <coughs> so we got a computer, really old computer. That is an old looking 90s computer, man. Uh, we got some paper folders there. We got a Carl's pencil son's sharpener. Got him a, setup. a what? Carl's son Matt. He has him one hell of an L desk set up ah. in the house. Yeah, he's, he's working at Carl's. He's staying at Carl's. Ah, yeah. This desk. this is almost like an L desk, but it's almost got like a little tail on the L, so it's almost like a U in a, in a way. Not bad. All right, so we stepped out of the office, and we get our own tiny little office here. But there are other doors. Four twenty nine. All of his co-workers were gone. 4.30. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. And then we have a bunch of cubes. We've got a little cube farm out here. And we're going to play it. We're going to start the game by playing it straight and doing basically what the narrator is telling us. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. All right, well, we're going to go on our way to the meeting room. God, these guys got to clean up, man. Their papers on the floor. Go around the hallway. Got another cube farm. Got some other offices with windows over here. Four twenty. All right. Well, nobody, not a, not anybody at all. Got a bunch of file cabinets. Some paintings on the wall, a little hallway. Okay, 416. 415. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay. More hallways, another L hallway. 412. File cabinets, some windows. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. So we got a bunch of scribble on the whiteboard. Bunch of stuff that kind of hard to read, kind of handwriting stuff, but you guys can take a look at that. Businessy jargon. And we got a big old uh, presentation there. We got a big old meeting table. It's, it's, it's almost like everyone just evac'd in the <clears> middle of the day or something and like nobody's here. Because we got a basically a PowerPoint presentation on the overhead. Everyone is unique. Ooh. And then we got some bar or pie charts. 
number of slides on the <laughs> okay number okay yeah yep yeah, just meaningless jargon so let's get out of the meeting room ah the broom closet <laughs> Silence. Coming to a <laughs> we'll get to that. <laughs> upstairs to his boss's office. I'm not saying nothing. Oh, I know. You're thinking, what the heck is going on in this game? Well, you'll see. So we climbed up a stairwell here. And now we're in this weird, like, wooden area. Got a secretary desk up here. We got some kind of other doors that we can't open. Got a bright window. Our boss's room is in there. Let me just walk down this other way really fast. I don't remember if there's another... I think there might be a bathroom here or something. Okay, we can't go in there yet. <clears throat> okay. So let's head into the boss here. Stepping Damn, into the man. Manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked? Unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this, what dark secret was being held from him. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. 2845. <laughs> of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. So we've got this this huge high windowed office, and we got like a a piano in here. We've got a huge bookshelf, bookshelves. Um, yeah, I mean, Stanley there's just just sat around twiddling his thumbs, trying to input anything on the device was useless, since he could never possibly know that the combination was two eight four five. Hmm. <laughs> Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. <laughs> he stepped into the newly opened passageway. Did he, though? Let's look around a little bit just to see if there's anything we can do. This room is actually kind of dark. Okay, we got this giant, like, secret panel open here. Look at this. It's just this giant wall panel and we got some like construction lights here okay this just got a little strange almost like a like power plant or like warehouse something or other or big old down arrow sure we'll hit that big old button go into because the bowels of course you of... will because it's a button yeah and the funny thing is, there's a demo for a free demo for this game, which is completely different. Yeah, totally different. Than the deeper into the building, full Stanley game. Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring okay, of emotion we're going down. in his chest, as though he felt huh? more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Okay. Got some cords on the ground. It is dark as hell down here. Got a uh, more lights. Okay, we're Stanley just gonna. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read "Mind Control Facility." Mind Control Facility. Ginormous letters above the door. Now there is a passage off to the left. We're not going to worry about that at the moment. Okay, we entered the door. Okay. And we got some kind of a the lights rose on an enormous room thing. packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Okay, so we're in this giant circular chamber. I mean, a giant. I mean, it's probably several stories high, and there's monitors that aren't lit up yet. Um, but, I mean, there's literally probably 30 or better vertically, if not more. I mean, if I go to the edge, yeah. And it's like a like, giant pit below us, so you know, we don't know what the heck is going on. 
walk across a bridge onto another little round island. Okay, we got a, some desks, just very simple desks and chairs. What kind of nonsense do we have? What was that company doing? Yeah. Let's see, is this the one where I came from? Yeah. Can I hit it again, I wonder? No. I'm trying to remember what I gotta do to turn it on. So, okay, we go over here. Ah. Now, camera thing. Dang, that's people. a lot of monitors. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. <laughs> yeah, there's a whole bunch, the whole walls, except for a couple areas, are like just solid monitors. Yeah, he said his son's got two. 32 inch curved monitors on his desk. Oh, nice. That would be pretty cool. Okay, so that is blocked off. Now we go down this way. Down another metal catwalk. Another wire cord of some kind. Okay, well. Okay, let's hit another button. Kind of a this mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe it couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Perhaps. Okay, we got an elevator, a tiny no, little round elevator. He refused to believe it. He couldn't Going accept up. it. His own life in someone else's control? Never! It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? Okay, well, I guess we can get out of the elevator. The, proof, the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy, or sad, or content. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this mind control place. station. And as the cold reality of his past Off began line. to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. So we got a whole bunch of terminals over here, and they're all deactivated at the moment. Um, and it is really, really dark in here. Kind of hard to see. Got this giant uh, sign above the door ahead of us here. Facility power. All right, well. Got this crazy bridge thing. Balcony. Mind control, yes. <laughs> and when at last he found the source input. of Rudy's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. So we have an off and an on. So he wants us to turn it off. And it went black. Uh, I and a rising chill of uncertainty. Can't see anything. Was it over? Yes. He had won. He had okay, we're gonna strip of light. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet. Even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? 
What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do. Whatever life he lives, Blue sky, it will be trees. And that was all he needed to know. It was, perhaps, the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. And we got a staircase going down. We got a cobblestone path <coughs> in front of us. The breeze upon his skin. The feeling of liberation. The immense possibility of the new path before him. And it took control this over me. exactly the way. From me. Right now. That things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. <laughs> so... Yeah. Boy, that was a tough game, man. That was rough. It's uh, pretty difficult, but we beat it. <laughs> yeah, no. There's uh that's just the very, very basics of what's going on here. Mm -hmm. So, oh boy, looks like we got some groundhog day stuff going on. We are back in our office again. And lo and behold, my family was obsessed with that movie. What? Groundhog Day. Oh, good movie. Yeah, I know. Actually, I gotta get around to checking it. I don't know if I have it yet. I'm wait I was waiting for it to go on sale. There's actually a pseudo sequel VR experience game thing for the Groundhog Day that came out at some point last year, which I do want to take a look at eventually. So we're back in our cube again. We're gonna step out. All of his co workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. So you notice along the way, we've had a few different places where we could disobey our narrator and go do something else. So we're going to start doing that. There's a ton of different branching paths here. And we're going to kind of, we're just going to go pretty much the same way. Um, and we're just going to kind of work our way back and just make things more messed up as we go. So here's our first major choice. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Now, because I have played this before, I do know we can get back on track here. So I'm going to go on to the right because there's this a funny was not gag. The correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. <laughs> Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire. So it. now we're at room 445, 446. So we go around this other L direction here, and we're going to go through the. Uh, Bunch of little winding hallways, and here's our meeting. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, <laughs> just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. So, the meeting room, it's just its just an office. I mean, it's just literally like a break room. I mean, you've got... Yes, really, really worth it being here in the room. <laughs> A room so utterly captivating <laughs> that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really worth it. But dude, there's couches and like a pot machine and like a room with vertical blinds so and crazy. chairs. Stanley's obsession with this room bordered on creepy and reflected poorly on his overall personality. <laughs> it's possible that this is why everyone left. The... And then it's got this little reset, like where the pot machine is and stuff. We've got like a little recessed floor, a couple pillars here. Stanley sat around waiting for more dialogue. But when a long time had passed and there was no more, he decided that the game was trying to send him a message. Mm. <laughs> and I'll get a drink of water. Take a little break. <laughs> that sounds like a plan. <sighs> Maybe I'll join in. All right. So there we go. And now we're going to move back on track. But at last, he'd had enough of the amazing room. He <laughs> took the first open door on his left to get back to business. First open door on his left. All right, so we're going to do that. Oh, but I want to go forward, but we're not going to. We're going to go left. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. Oh, look at all these side paths we can play with. So we're going to get back on track. 
Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Okay. Head up to the stairwell here. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs. Oh, we can go down to now too. Office. We couldn't do that before, I don't think. So every time, basically, what this game is is you're going to be looping through the game, and the more you play, and the different options that you do, just weird things start happening, and a couple paths open up, and you see all these based on you know I took a little diversion there when there was like two or three uh, other paths that we could take. And so basically this game is just, let's find out all the weird branches and messed up things of the different endings that the story can take. Okay, let's see if we can go in here now. No? Oh wait, yes we can. Okay, blue, uh, blue walls. Got a little bathroom here. And some handwriting on the wall. I got the... Feeling, ugh, some. Let's see. I hate reading weird handwriting. So, eh, whatever. But yeah, we got a little bathroom here. So we're gonna. I don't think it'll let us open this, will it? Okay, it will let us open this now. But we're not going to do... Oh, there's an elevator over there. But we're going to go to the boss. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Yeah, it recognizes it we've mean? played it before. Stanley wondered aloud to nobody. He began wildly tearing through papers on the boss's desk, pulling books off the shelf looking behind paintings, desperate for clues to his situation. But his attention was caught by a keypad behind the boss's desk. What could its purpose be? In fact, this keypad guarded the terrible secret that lay buried below his feet. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Stanley just sat around twiddling his thumbs. Trying to input anything on the device was useless, since he could never possibly know that the combination was 2845. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Okay, so we're gonna, again, we're gonna continue as if we were before. And we're going to go all the way to the end, but we are going to actually choose to leave it on. So we're going to do everything the same way that we did. Okay, we got a loading thing here. Okay, we're loading again. Make our way through our dark Stanley winding hallway. Ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. All right, back here in this weird circular place. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold, Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? It'll get funnier, trust me. There's some weird stuff in this game. <laughs> yeah. I love it. Now the monitors jump to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. There's so Stands many monitors. The lives of so many Nobody individuals reduced to images on a screen. Yeah, uh, surveilling everybody pretty much. Eternally monitored in I'm this place death, where freedom yeah. meant nothing. It's like it's, it's so calm. Like if you if that was to really happen, people would be literally flipping their shit. Yeah. Yeah, they would. But, this I mean, funny enough, it was too that's what a lot of the, be true. like, we're tracked in so many ways on technology right now, it's not even funny, you probably don't even realize that's the scary part. Yeah. 
that his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly. So many monitors and numbers. 275, 290, yeah, there's just so many. Okay, I guess we take the elevator again. No, he refused to believe it. He couldn't Got our accept red it. His own life light in again. someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? But here was the proof at okay. the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Okay, well, you know, let's uh, change our mind here. Let's turn this baby on. Oh, Stanley, you didn't just activate the controls, did you? After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Control? Oh, Stanley. Glowy red light. I don't your effort, I really do. But you need to understand there's Loading only mind so control. much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go. Turn the controls off and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode, <laughs> eliminating the entire complex. How long until detonation then? Hmm, let's say um, two minutes. Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? It's your time to shine. You are the star. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere moments until the bomb goes off. But what precious moments each one of them is. More time to talk about you, <laughs> about me. A little terminal that sparks, can't use it. Up, oh, door's locked, can't escape. You'd like to know where your co-workers are. A moment of solace before you're obliterated. All right, I'm in a good mood. You're going to die anyway. I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. I erased them. I turned off the machine. I set you free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you, you sit have there in your three... office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying Other times, I let the office Remaining. sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. I have to say this, though. This version of events has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control wrested away from you, it's quite rich. I almost hate to see it go. But I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go around will be even better. My goodness, only huh. 34 seconds 34, left. that is but a I'm giant screen. So That's much. cool. You know what? It's like a scoreboard almost. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. Why not? Yeah. These are precious additional seconds, Stanley. Time doesn't grow on trees. <clears throat> oh dear me, what's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right now? Nope. Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? I mean, look at you. So there's buttons Running on the wall that say button numbers button. on them. Screen to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. These numbered buttons. No, these colored ones. Or maybe this big red button. Or this door. Everything, anything, something here will Walking up on a catwalk. Why would you think that's number four? That this video game can be beaten? One solved? Do you have any idea what your purpose in this place is? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Stanley, you're in for quite a disappointment. But here's a spoiler for you. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. You're only still 40 seconds of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. To see you made humble. 
This is not a challenge. It's a tragedy. You wanted to control this world that monitors of different buttons on or colors. Oh, and we exploded. Take a look at the clock, Stanley. Twenty-seven seconds. You have left to struggle. Thirty seconds until a big boom and then nothing. No end. Just you being alone. No, there's number three. Will you desperately to your frail life, or will you let it go peacefully? Another choice. Make it count. Or don't. It's all the same to me. All a part of the joke. Let me out. I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable narrator's life. Narrator's like, the moment no. <laughs> I say, happily ever up. The screen is just shaking like mad, and we exploded. There you go. You get the really messed up ending. Uh, yeah, basically the narrator is just taunting you for disobeying him, and uh, yeah, making it out of sounds like sounds like somebody else we know that taunts us. Yeah, and the funny thing is, like you know, Chris and I, we, we tried. You know, it's like okay, we know there's these five buttons. Maybe there's a way that you could do all the, all of them in like a certain order, or we were trying to you know we we did that ending a few different times just to see what would happen. You know, if we could figure out a way, and no, it's just like he said, it's meant to. He's like, "Oh, what you think you're really gonna do anything? No, your fate is already sealed." So now we're back in our cube again, and let's move forward. A soft wind blew outside, and perhaps rain started. And if it did, it stopped shortly after. Stanley hoped that he would one day see weather. Okay, never so heard that before. Let's move on forward. <clears throat> back in our cube farms. And we come to our two doors. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. <laughs> and the great thing is, before I step in here, it's you always want to go here because eventually they will run out but they have so much dialogue it, it, it the, every time you do this they have new dialogue for this room and that that's just the extended just the absurdity of this joke it's just great wow yes this room what a beautiful room what a gorgeous gorgeous room thank goodness stanley had taken this detour on his way to the meeting room life without having experienced this room was now too horrible even to consider. <laughs> we'll see if he says anything else. Uh, I think I think it just does the same loop that he does before. He'll say, yes. like, yep. Really, really worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really worth it. So it's just the first line of dialogue that's different. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. So we will. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. Back in our meeting Yet room. There was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Now I'm gonna Coming to a staircase. Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. I can't remember. I think there's a way. I'm gonna try something, and if it doesn't work the first time, I can try it again later. Um, but I think there's a way. If I there's a way. If you trigger the boss's door to shut behind you, you can. If you back out quickly enough, it'll shut, and then you can't get in there. I think it, it's hard to do. You try it. The moment. Yep, it's shut. And now we can't open it again. It's locked, so we we blocked ourselves off from that code. Oh no! Now what do we do? I think we can go. Oh, this is locked now too. Really. Okay. I'm trying to remember what the trick is. I remember doing that, but I don't remember what you're supposed to do afterward. And that's the funny thing. There's all these really weird, like, 
you know, there's the obvious paths, and then there's weird little things that you can do that will do all kinds of different endings. Secretary's computer does nothing. There's no switch or something to reopen the door. Um, we can go back down the stairs. And there's nothing, can't do anything with the bathroom, the toilet, the sink, the crappy mirror. I'm trying to remember if there's something else I can do in here. So the boss is locked. Uh, this door is locked. I guess we're going to have to go back downstairs. I thought there was something else in this room that you could do. But I don't remember what it is, so maybe it was just a weird achievement-related thing to go into the door and then get out again. So yeah, you can actually <laughs> lock yourself out. So let's go all the way down the stairs. There's another path that we can take. There's where we came in. Let's go all the way down. We'll do this instead. Okay, you got some, it's getting darker down here. There's some lights. Let's see, there's nothing back here. We got a door. Uh, okay, I can't open this either. I know eventually, like, if I went there regularly, I think I could open that door. Oh boy. Um,. I'm curious what's actually going to happen here. I don't... I know I've done this before, but I don't remember what the conclusion was. Uh, I can open that, so that is an option. I can open the broom closet. Uh, let's just go back. I just want to see really fast. I want to go back. No. Oh. Okay, that blocked us off. So, narrator's mad. Think about the only thing we might be able to do, unless I'm forgetting something else, I can go in the closet. I can't go down the stairs. Yeah, I think that's about the only ending we're gonna do. So I was gonna do this eventually, but I guess now's a good time as any. Okay, we're not even getting any dialogue here. Uh, I don't remember what the trick to this ending was. Because <laughs> usually you get text Chris and find out. dialogue. Yeah, I don't know if he'd reply quickly enough. I kind of want to keep it moving. I don't know if he'd reply if he was in the chat. <laughs> Uh, I mean, I can always, like, restart the thing so it's not a big deal, but... I don't remember if you did that ending on the damn Let's Play or not. I don't uh, remember. Uh, I don't remember. I don't think you did, because I'd remember it if you did. Remember? Yeah, I know Chris and I, we had... I think he had found it or he had read something about it and he told me about it. And so I remember doing it, but yeah, I can't open that. Can't open that. Secretary's computer does nothing. Is it in your office? I don't know. I'm just throwing ideas out. Mm, we don't even have an office. Basically, the secretary's desk is kind of just in this big old hallway. Yeah, no, I'm, I was saying your office. Uh, it, I was trying to go back there, and oh, it actually it locked, it locked me. It, it wouldn't. It shut a door in front of me. Oh. So I couldn't go back. Bathroom. I'll putz around just a little bit longer, but then I'll re I'll reset the deal, and we'll try it again from the begin beginning. So that yeah, that is a weird thing. There might be something you can do, but I don't remember. For this particular ending, I'll leave that for you guys to figure out if I don't. Or you can watch. I don't remember if it's on my Let's Play or not. I don't think it is. I'd remember that. I remember a lot of the endings you did. Yeah. 
and I can't really do anything with any of this stuff, so yeah. Um, the only thing that I could do is go into the room closet, but even standing there, he doesn't say anything like he would during the story, so I think this is basically your glitch ending, maybe? Because I can go in here, and I can shut the door, and I'll wait a minute here, and I'll just kind of talk for a minute, but... So... Yeah, I mean, there's all kinds of obvious ways to divert the path, but then there's some hidden things and some kind of obscure stuff that you almost have to find out from somebody else looking at it online or, you know, just putzing around with every, clicking on every little thing in the environment. Yeah, I think this is our glitch ending. So let us, uh... We'll begin the game again. And we'll get our cutscene again. Oh, no, okay. No. All right, so we're back in our place. Back in our cube. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Okay, so... We are going to... Go into the boss's office one more time. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Kind of a walking simulator slash weird basic puzzle game. You're like, okay, what kind of weird things can I trigger now? The lounge was sublime, a work of art. What was it about this room that called so deeply and so personally to Stanley. Its grace, <laughs> its subtle charm. No. Stanley knew it was something deeper. Something darker. <laughs> Just reading in. I mean, there's literally, there's nothing fancy about this room at all. It is like your ultimate yes, basic, really, basic. Really worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really worth it. I know, right? But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Okay. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. Okay. Boom, back to the meeting Yet room. There was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. So many paths. So, let's go into the office this time and not break the game. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover God, not an indication of any human life. What could it mean, he wondered. We gotta look important. For answers, he began turning the room over, looking for clues that might unravel the situation. Until at last, he discovered a keypad behind the boss's desk. But alas, no code. For this keypad guarded the terrible secret that lay buried below his feet. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number, 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad... I'm trying to remember... ...the correct code by sheer luck. They're amazing. There he might into be... the newly opened passageway. There might be uh, one or two secret codes that you can put in that are wrong codes, but I, if there are, I don't recall what they are. So we're going to go down our elevator one more time, because there's one other path we haven't looked at yet. This far ahead. Okay, we're going to wind around. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Or he might have been interested by this little pathway down on the left. There's a long, long hallway. Although this passageway had the word Escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. 
And we're going to keep walking down this path. The door behind him was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. At this point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. <laughs> okay, it's getting kind of dark. And... Ooh. Got some sort of pit thing here. Whee! It's totally dark, and I got a loading screen, and what is going on here? Whee! Splat. Okay, we're in like a the machine word into motion, cart. Stanley was inched closer and closer to his thing. He reflected that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. Stanley can't see the bigger picture. Oh boy! He know the real story, trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this got some metal. Is. Perhaps his death was of no great loss. Metal pounding things going. Blind man. Kind of so he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to his brief and shadow life. Uh, next time it's us. Uh... Oh. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator, as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body. Killing him instantly. <laughs> so these bone crusher things, except, uh, yeah, maybe not. So we actually ended up falling down. The, like, the cart, sides of the cart stopped, so it thinks we killed. It thinks that it killed us. But we're still alive, and if we turn around... We're walking forward, it's super dark, the Stanley Parable. Okay. Uh, I don't know if there's anywhere else I can and go. And it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? I don't know, but we're going to walk forward. And there's a white, okay. Oh, here we go. When yep. Every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance. Death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? So now we're in this black and white area, and this is technically, I believe, called the museum ending. And if we walk down these stairs, we get basically all the little props. It's kind of got a little level layout here. This is kind of a like a 3D map or 3D model on the floor. Got our little office cubes there. Kind of the whole layout, it might give you some clues as to what's going on. And then we have all the ass art assets and stuff in the game. Stanley's computer. And over here, so it's like these museum um, <clears throat> of all the different art assets in the game. Um, yep, filing cabinets. Got little signs on them. Got these little computers here. Yep, office computers. And there's quite a few of these. Uh, got some doors with signs on them. Ah, uh, yes, there's our buttons in the... Uh, that would do nothing in our bad ending, or our nuclear ending. Okay. Oh, button sounds, okay. There we go. And these are credits, I think. Yep. Okay, so we got our little credits there. Small development team. Let's head down the left wing. Big old paintings there. Four, three, one. Four, three, six. I don't know what that means. Got our copier. Photocopier. Some plants. 
All right, let's go up this staircase. Bunch of stuff on the walls. Oh, we got another path off here. I don't know if the lady says anything else or not. Uh. Okay, button, big old warning thing. Uh. Early in development, we designed. Uh. Design an ending. Hmm. Stanley would, okay. Would Stanley would end up in a battlefield. Okay, battlefield fighting aliens. Uh, I don't know if I ever read this before. Um, become. God, there's tons of text here. Would become sentient and. <laughs> Oh, we would wage war against the aliens, okay. <laughs> That's great. This game is just totally self-aware. I love it. Ooh, what's down this hallway? Just a... Uh, Narrator emails. Huh. I'm not going to go there yet. I don't know if I can click on that white void or not. Because we're going to look around the rest of this museum a little bit here. And there's some more office-y stuff. More cubes. Yep, I'm just showing again all of the assets and stuff. There's some windows. And... So is this game weird enough for you guys yet? <laughs> there's some other, like I said, there's plenty more endings to go. Okay, there is where we can go to end. Or no, that's where we start. No, that's not where we started because we... We, uh, oh yeah, there's our little uh, nature scene. And we got our big old monitors here. What does it say? Oh, are you going to not light up again? I think that's most of the museum. And it kind of gives you, this is sort of a way that you can check. It's like, oh, did I see this somewhere in the game? So it kind of gives you a clue of like, oh, okay, maybe I haven't seen that. What else could I possibly do in this game? <laughs> okay, some echoes of the narrator being snarky. snarky. Narrator outtakes. All right. So yeah, a little bit of, of a weird commentary in the game. So let's go down to the other path, if I remember where the heck it was. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Bless you. Sorry about that. Thank you. Oh, okay. Yep, found it. Okay, so if we go this way. Oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. So we're going to keep walking. Stanley Parable. On or off? Ooh. Guess it's on. Okay, we hit that. Can you see? Can you see how much they need one another? No, perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. But listen to me. You can still save these two. You can stop the program before they both fail. Push escape and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. 
stop now will be your only true choice. Whatever you do, choose it. Don't let time choose for you. Don't let time... And it went black. I got cr this time I did get crushed. Uh, eh, I think I literally have to go to the menu. It's a little kind of a, okay, so let's just say begin again. <laughs> that was a weird ending. Mm -hmm. Didn't even respawn. Okay, back in the office. Uh, let's see. We... Someone was following Stanley. He was sure of it. If he checked over his shoulder now, he would surely catch them. It was only a matter of time. <laughs> nope. 427. It is locked. Okay, so we're going to move forward. It's behind you, Stanley. <laughs> yeah. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he says, "Hmm, I think it could be weirder." Tongue sticking out emoji. How what? The game. He says, "I think it could be weirder," and he goes, "Splat." Yeah. <laughs> oh, we we're gonna get to he some pretty funny to stuff. Went to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. And I love the just the kind of dry, sarcastic humor of this game. Standing now in this incredible room, Stanley for the first time understood true happiness. <laughs> then the feeling <laughs> went away, and he felt sad again. Then it came back, and lingered for a minute or two. Now it's only half there. Just a kind of, um, tingle. <laughs> back in the meeting room. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. It should be deja vu. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, I suppose I should. Okay, we're not going to go there yet. We're going to... And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. I think other than... If there's a hidden keypad or a key code, uh, actually, let me see if Coming I can. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his. Let me go see office. if I can do anything with that elevator really fast. So we can go in here. I don't remember if this triggers something. Okay, hit the elevator. Okay, let's go in. I, honestly, I don't remember where this what this does. I truly don't remember. <laughs> cheesy, <laughs> ele yep, cheesy elevator music. It's anchor. And I don't, I don't know if the joke is that you'll just sit here and listen to elevator music forever. Or if you can get out, I don't remember what. I, like I said, I remember the elevator being here, but I don't recall. I said it's. it's I'm glad that it's been a few years since I've looked at or played this game because I remember bits and pieces, but there are parts of it like I vaguely remember what's going on, but I don't fully. This is kind of what I have to listen to when I wait for calls on Anchor. Uh, yeah. I don't miss that. I'll be honest. So, yeah, I don't think we don't got any narrator. We don't got anything. That's probably the joke. Just like <laughs> yep. Listen to elevator music. There so where go. does it take us out? Okay, it takes us... Okay, we're at the boss's office still. So can we go back down? Because I don't... If I go in the office... I think we've pretty much seen everything in there, unless there's a hidden keypad code that I don't remember. Oh crap, I can't go in there again. Um, what would be a quick... 
stepping into his I mean, I could office, just restart Stanley again. Was once again is there an ending to discover it, not with an the on off thing at the museum? Is there an ending what off? Did it mean, he uh, there's only one thing you yes, can click on, answers. it seems. He oh. began turning the room over looking for clues that might unravel because the, the switch is on and you last, pull the lever down. Oh. A keypad yeah, I wondered that too, but it's just I've seen it. But alas, no code. For this keypad guarded the terrible secret that lay buried below his feet. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number, 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known Let's this. try one, two, three, four. Let's try 0451 because it is a hidden game code Stanley that everybody uses. Oh, four. Trying to input five, anything on the device was useless. One. Since he could never. Stanley simply began entering random codes into the keypad, knowing full well the sheer statistical unlikelihood that this would ever result oh. in a correct combination. I'm going to try he something. Knew that the combo was 2845. I'm just going to keep hitting. See if he has a reaction. From the demo. Eight. <laughs> okay, that's all we're gonna get. Forgot, but it turns Oops. out that the panel's emergency override kicked in. Yeah, and shoot, I missed it. He said, "For God's sake, something." Itself. And Stanley got the hell along with the story. <laughs> <laughs> so that that eight uh, in the demo, uh, you'll have to check that particular video out on the channel that's hysterical it's it's really funny there's just this weird button that he's just fascinated with and the narrator just gets so mad at him oh it's just, oh god it's, it's funny, funny. he just keeps saying eight he's eight. like oh you really think this is eight. yeah you think this is really uh stimulating huh and he just gets so mad about it well what killed me i don't know if i told you my one of my stanley parable stories is freaking voiceover was doing that yeah. one day was sitting there every time I'd unlock, I would try to hit something, and it would hit eight. Oh, eight, eight. And all I can do, I'm sitting there dying of laughter, and they're like, What's so damn funny? And then I have to show them the demo. Mm hmm. So I don't believe there's anything else. I might just do a reset because there's nothing over here, I don't think. It's just dark. And I've done the on, I've done the off, I've done the side path with the crusher in the museum now. So let's just do a restart. The escape. It yep. wasn't an escape. <laughs> oh, whoa. Huh? Oh, I forgot about this. Yeah, so we start in our cube, but every once in a while it puts us in this weird... All these co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. The the space outside of your office actually changes. There's like not very many cubes here. Um Oh, okay, so there's there's the two door thing, but let me look around this first room here. I don't remember if there's anything in this new crazy room or not. Because there's no, there's really no cubes here. There's a copy machine and a couple of file cabinets. Copiers off. None of these other doors open. Yeah, so it kind of messes with you going, oh, what's going on here? Because we got a window with those vertical blinds again. So now we go to our... When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Here we go. Stanley felt lightheaded, butterflies in his stomach, giddy in a way he had never known before. <laughs> Was it this room? A connection between the two? Could a man love a room? <laughs> I mean, truly, truly, deeply, madly, love. <laughs> there you go. Ooh, Stanley. Yes. All right, so let's move on. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door. So there's two more paths uh, beyond the meeting room that we have. Oh shoot! I don't want to go in there yet. I wasn't paying attention. Okay, we got to go so back he here. Detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. Okay, so 
We're gonna go in the Yet meeting room. There's not a single person here either. There are two more things Feeling we can do beyond this disbelief. point. Stanley decided to go up to his boss's that office, I remember. hoping he might find an answer there. Okay, and we're gonna go this way. We're gonna go forward and Coming down the stairs. Staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. And now the door is open since we're not in glitch mode. But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all. So None of it made any logical sense. A car down and there. As Stanley pondered this, he began to make now other we're in strange another observations. Hallway. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Yeah. Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? Yes, make fun of that and game that logic. Matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange. This can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. Yep, he and now we're cycling back to the car. The I'm dreaming, he yelled. This is all a dream. <laughs> oh, what a relief Stanley felt to have finally found an answer, an explanation. His co-workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real-life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So, Endless he loop. imagined himself flying and began to gently float above the uh, Okay, yep, now we're flying a little bit. Then he imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field. And it too appeared. And it, it goes away. So much fun. And Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? How <laughs> the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. Meta. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me thinking about how it's describing my thoughts. <laughs> and while he thought it all very odd, and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, the truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. If he did, how I'd piss myself when we got Was Stanley simply deceiving himself? Believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How just else would the voice explain on. all that? This voice was a part of himself too, surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control. The philosophy and the dream. endless babble. So he closed his eyes gently. And he invited himself oh, to wake up. Closing. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin. The press of the mattress on his back. The fresh air of a world outside this one. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please, it's all I want. I want my apartment and my wife, and my job. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. <laughs> I am okay. <laughs> <laughs> Ridiculous. He just said, he has a happy tingle? What kind of lounge is that? Ha ha ha. Stanley hey. began screaming. Please, and he woke up. He's still in the endless loop. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Please, and you thought it was going to reset. I, real. I must be real. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? Because everything's getting red. Ah! And everything went black. <laughs> That's a great fake out, too.
Yeah. So this always... is the story of a woman named Mariella. Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed <laughs> dead on the sidewalk. Stanley lay she dead. She soon turned to go call for an ambulance. For just a few brief moments, on the she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy. This much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this, and in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. The very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career, and by extension, the rest of her life. She had no time for this, so it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. And then she turned and ran. And there's your happy ending. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so now I think it'll reset. Yep. And there we go. So yeah, that is, and there's, like I said, there's still more, so we'll keep going. Why not? Someone was following Stanley. He was sure of it. If he checked over his shoulder now, he would surely catch them. It was only a matter of time. No co-workers. Okay. Now the game is starting to go down weird Stanley places. Stanley came to a set of two open doors. He entered the door on his left. Now we do have one more ending that we this really have to get. This was the way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew Past the meeting well. room. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. A happy tingle. <laughs> the lounge was grand, majestic, perhaps too majestic. <laughs> like a combination of a much smaller version and a much larger version of this exact room. It all made Stanley uncomfortable, and he started to bleed a little. This made him smile. At last, proof that he was human. All right, then. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight we'll go there eventually. the opposite door, and got back on track. That'll probably be the next one, actually. Yet there was after not a this. single person here. Oh, the one in the maintenance room? Feeling yeah. a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. First, oh no, oh no, 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 not again. I won't be part of this. I'm not going to encourage you. I'm not going to say anything at all. I'm just going to be patient and wait for you to finish whatever it is you enjoy doing so much in this room. Please take your time. Mm. So we're in the storage room. Mm. And I think we may have missed some dialogue because... We went in here when the game glitched and it didn't trigger the dialogue, yeah. but it must have thought that we did. So we're just going to hang out here. Because eventually, this, uh, this believe it or not, you can just lock yourself in the storage room and end it. Although, now that I wonder, I wonder if I'll be able to do that because... Of how that glitch worked, so you may have to check out. To, well, I'll wait a little longer. Um, you may have to wait a little longer, or um, you may have to go back and watch the original uh, Let's Play for the weird um, closet ending. It's just a tiny little room, got some shelves. Got some duct tape or something on the shelves. Got some supplies. Little things of, uh, like, pens and stuff. Yeah, crap. Maybe... Hmm. If I restart... Because he should have commented more by now. Maybe... Yeah. Let me just do a fresh restart 
and I'll do it one more time, and if he just says not again, then I'll restart again. But all of his co-workers were Okay, gone. so now we're in the what weird room. Mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply met when Stanley came to a set of two open doors. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. We're gonna Perhaps try that he one more to time. By the employee lounge first, just to admire it. And so that's the thing, is it remembers sort of what you did, so it can kind of play with, like if you do things repeatedly, like this room here. And here it was, the lounge. What a room, Stanley thought to himself. What a room, what a room, what a room. <clears throat> this is what Stanley thought. What a room. What a room, what a room. What a room. <laughs> va -va -voom. <laughs> what a room. You're losing it, buddy. But eager to get back to business. So let's try. I don't know if this is going to work, but I have to try it because I would like to. And so he detoured. Ah, that sucks. Section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door and got back on track. Because I remember you did it later because you had to completely restart. Yeah, there was not a single mm -hmm. person here either. Feeling a wave of. Because that was one of the ones you did after. Stanley the decided to go up to his boss's office. Oh, now I can't do it because it's all okay, right? Because I've done it enough. It's actually it's actually boarded up now. Yeah. So I can't go in so there. So you'd probably have to completely restart the sometime. Yeah. I mean, if you remind me when we're done, I'll exit the game and go back in since it only takes a second to do. Yeah. And we can try it and see if it'll work. I don't know if it will. All right. So we got to restart. So that's basically everything that we can do past the meeting room. So now we're really going to start diverging. Whoa. Okay. We started and we're in our room. We're in the normal place. But look at this. We have just tons and tons of documents tons of papers Even now, Stanley's office was a distant memory all over what did it look like the floor there was a computer perhaps and a painting was it a painting or a photo mm. he could no longer recall so yeah this game just like i said it just it's kind of this weird inception thing of like oh yeah here's no this just how hard Stanley looked he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers yeah so we got all of our papers everywhere. I mean, it's just littered with them. <clears throat> so now... We're going to continue. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. All right, one more time. It was okay. It was okay. <laughs> That's all we get. Nice. Nice. He's getting but tired of it. To get back to business, Stanley took the first so now we've got this left. first door on the left, and now we can and go so through our maintenance. Through the maintenance section, walk straight ahead to the opposite door. With this back on obviously just tempting elevator with the big old down arrow button. So we're going to go there. New loading zone. But Stanley didn't want to go back to the office. He wanted to wander about and get even further off track. So now in order to get back, he needed to go, um, uh, uh from here it's, um, left. No. Nah. Let's see if there's anything on the right that I can do. No, nope. can't go in that door. No, nope. okay. Guess we're going left. Oh, no. No, it's to the right. My mistake. That. Lock it right in front of you. No, 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 no. Not the right. Why would I have ever said it was to the right? What was <laughs> I thinking? It's clearly... Oh, dear. Would you hold on for a minute, please? <laughs> Gotta look at the script. Now, let's see. We went down right, left, down, left, right. Yep, yep. Okay, okay, yes. I've got it now. This story is absolutely, definitely this way. Okay, straight ahead. Got got a van or something. Got some lights glowing at us. Just a truck or something there. Okay, I guess we're going down some more stairs into the bowels of somewhere. Oh, oh. Okay, we're on a balcony in this uh, monitor room. No, 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 no. This isn't right at all. You're not supposed to be here yet. This is all a spoiler. 
quick, Stanley. Close your eyes. Okay, okay, okay. Just, <laughs> yeah. just have to get back to him. Um, oh, I love breaking the fourth wall. I'm kidding. It's all rubbish now. The whole story completely unusable. How about rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, we'll just restart the game from the beginning. And this time, suppose we don't wander so far off track, hmm? Okay, from the top. <laughs> I don't remember if you can do the same thing if you'll do something different. I'm almost mean? tempted to try. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Because I truthfully don't remember. I wonder because if like I said, I can always just reset if When Stanley Oh wait. Wait, what? No one no we one restarted. I swear I definitely Two rooms on the left the and the right in fashion. the middle Everything should and they're all locked. Well, did something change? Stanley, did you change anything when we were back in that room with all the monitors? Did you move the story somewhere or a... Hold on. Why am I asking you? I'm the one who wrote the story. <laughs> it was right here just a minute ago. I know for sure that it's here somewhere. Okay, then. It's an adventure. Come, Stanley. Let's find the story. I remember this ending. Okay, so we can go forward, the left and right forward as usual, and then we have two doors on the right and one, basically two doors on the left, but we can't jump over this chair. So we're going to go, I'm going to take the left path because I truly don't remember. So, okay, we're going to wander. Uh, wait, what? Okay. All these choices. I'll say it. This is the worst adventure I've ever been on. I can promise you there definitely was a story here before. Do we just... Do we need to restart the game again? Well, I find it unlikely that we'll ever progress by starting over and over again. But it's got to be better than this. Okay, let's give it a shot. Why not? Okay, so it's completely broken. And now we're back at the beginning again. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Okay. Mind trip. Okay, now there's no doors. Okay, yep, it's worse. I might be remembering this wrong. No it's doors. Possible. The story is back where we just came from. Why don't we go back the other direction and see if we missed anything? Okay, so now we can only go backward. So let's head back to our office. Any other doors in here that we can go in now? Don't appear to be, so let's go back. Aha! I knew we'd miss something. The story. So now we're in another weird hallway. Okay, we got a U, and it's like no, looping wait, around in itself mind. to a Not dead end. Okay, let's head back the other way and retrace our steps. And now we're in like a warehouse, sort of, just, or a construction area. Now this, well, I'll be honest, I don't recognize this place at all. <laughs> Is this the story? I don't think so. Room from the I demo, I believe. Recall, but I believe my story took place in an office building. It, Is that correct? Hmm. Do you remember, Stanley? Or do you know what? Since I've completely forgotten what we were supposed to be doing, how about this? You win! Congratulations! <laughs> I know you put in a lot of hard work, and it really paid off. So, good job. Oh, no. No, I don't feel right about this at all. We both know you didn't put in any actual work for that win. Some people win fair and square, and this was not one of those situations. Okay, I'm getting weirded out by whatever this place is. I don't care what might happen this time. I have to restart. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, this is the best. Now we have All right. the line. The solution. This time to make the sure Stanley Parable. Lost, I've employed the help Adventure of the line. Stanley Parable Adventure Line. Just follow the line. How simple is that? Oh, this is good. So we can divert too. Here's the thing is we can follow the line, or we could go straight ahead. Well, let's follow the line this time. We're going down some weird paths here. 
down some old hallways. The knows where the story is. It's over in this direction. And they go up Stanley to destiny. And the line that just goes wouldn't wherever we end up be our destination, even if there's no story there. Or to put it another way, is the story of no destination still a story? So we could Simply go by the act of moving forward. Are we implying a journey such that a destination is inevitably conjured into being via up a the stairwell? manifestation of the nature of life itself? Okay, Stanley, I need to follow this train of thought for a minute. Just stick with me. Now we can both agree that the nature of existence is in fact a byproduct Can't go up of any higher. subjective experience of that existence, right? Okay. Now, if my experience of your existence rests inside of your subjective experience of this office, is this office, in fact, the skeleton of my own relative experiential mental subjective construct? <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. That got a bit weird back there. Well, I'd like to apologize. Not sure where I was going with all that. You know what? I think what we need right now is a bit of music to make yes. the mood. <laughs> <laughs> and this room is... You go in this room, and there's a... There's a Path going out this other door right to the left of it, but in the room itself, there's like these the line that just goes all crazy and around the walls and the floors and here's your wacky British humor. <laughs> so dumb. Gonna go forward. It's funny if we have a British man watching. So. <laughs> <laughs> that makes it even funnier. Got yep. Okay, now we're in a warehouse. Got some shelves. Going in between our giant shelves here. <laughs> this music is... Oh, it's so British humor. It's so dumb. I love it. Up some stairs. Just winding paths that, like, make no sense. It's just like there's no reason... This one, it goes over the ceiling, down the wall. Cut the music. Go back and look at that fern. Stanley, this fern will be very important later in the story. Make sure you study it closely and remember it carefully. You won't want to miss anything. <laughs> and spoiler, no, it doesn't. It's just, no. It's uh, your typical red herring. It's, it's yeah, no, it's just... No, it isn't. We'll continue down our line. Wait, but we're back at the office? No, no, no. Line, you do know we're looking for the Stanley Parable, right? The story? Is any of this ringing a bell? Okay, <laughs> guess we're going this way. Through some more halls and offices. Oh, back here again. Oh, no, no, Her balcony and the no, monitors. How could you have done this to us? And after we trusted you, after everything we've been through, you... Oh, I can't take this anymore. To hell with it. Restart. <laughs> oh. Okay, we got the line again. So let's, uh, let's venture... You know I say forget the adventure line. What's it ever done for us? We're intelligent people, right? Why can't we make up our own story? Something exciting, daring, mysterious. Oh, this all sounds perfectly doable. Why don't we simply start wandering in... Well, I don't know. How about this direction? <laughs> oh, I love it. It's just so self-aware. All right, so let's go this way. Another L hallway. Now, yes. This is exciting. Just me and Stanley forging a new path, a new story. Well, it could be anything. What do you want our story to be? Go wild. Use Endless your imagination. Loop. Whatever it might be, Stanley, I'm ready for it. Okay, we're out of the loop, apparently. You know, we got some weird, trippy... Oh, no, not you again. Stanley, I'd also like to veto the line from having any role in our awesome new story. No lines or monitor rooms. Just don't acknowledge it, and we should be fine. <laughs> so bummed out. Mm. 
Yeah, I told you, this game diverts in some really strange ways. Ah, a choice. We get to make a decision. From here, the story is in our control. How important we mustn't squander the opportunity. In fact, I believe I need a minute to think here. Just walk in circles for a minute. Meh. Okay. So I know that each little arrows on the floor somewhere, which means that somewhere the place where we're trying to go, there must be a reverse door that leads here. And that in turn means that our destination corresponds with the counter inverted reverse <laughs> door's origin. So starting from the right <laughs> nonsense will taking the right door lead us to where we're going. And since the answer is clearly yes, then by all accounts, the door on the right is the correct one. Another victory for logic. Come, Stanley. Our destiny awaits. And we can't go to the left one. It won't let us. So, all right, we're going to go in there. Oh, hold up. What's this? Hmm. Hmm. The confusion ending. You're telling me that's what this is? It's all one giant ending? And we're supposed to restart the game eight eight times? That's really how all this goes? It's all determined? So now, according to the schedule, I restart again. Then what? Am I just supposed to forget? Well, what if I don't want to forget? My mind goes blank simply because it's written here on this... this thing... wall. Well, who consulted me? Why don't I get to decide? Why don't I get a say in all of this? Is it really... No, it can't be. I, d I don't want it to be. I, I don't want the game to keep restarting. I, I don't want to forget what's going on. I don't want to be trapped like this. <laughs> I won't restart the game. I won't do it. I won't do it. I won't do it. And the timer... Stopped. And there's a timer. Does 17, 11, 29. Did we do it? Did we break the cycle? The, um, whatever it is that made this schedule? How would we even know? Oh, okay. Both doors would have well, came in here anyway. Well, something happen? There's a chair. A lone chair. So, okay. I guess now we just wait. You know, I suppose in some way that this is a kind of story. Wouldn't you agree? I'm not quite sure if we're in the destination or the journey. Though they're always saying that life is about the journey and not the destination. So, I hope that's where we are right now. We'll find out, won't we? Eventually. Well, in the meantime... That glitch, and then it, yep, and we're going to reset, I think. Yep. And now that loop is done. <laughs> I'm trying to remember, is there another ending if we divert from the line? I don't think so. I don't believe so either. But again, like I said, if you want to see me basically trying, er, you know, every little, every little path... You can go back and watch my playthrough because there are like I do some repeats in there just because like I said I wanna I don't know how deep it goes and so I'm like well what if I just do this here what if I do that little thing so All I this think we're, gone. What could it mean? we're mostly done the meeting room. perhaps he had simply missed a memo with the we're done with the maintenance ending I think now there's a room after the lounge where we can go forward. We've got a couple more endings there that we can do. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. It was okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I think we finally ran out. We ran out of dialogue. But eager to get we back finally to ran out of things Stanley about the employee the lounge. Door on his left. So now we're going to go straight forward. And now... Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Alright, so now we're in this giant space. Can we go in this door on the left? No, we cannot. Alright. Um, so we've got a big old elevator here. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten now. Watch this. Here. We, 
But in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. <laughs> Good job, Stanley. <laughs> Everyone <laughs> thinks you are very powerful. There you go. Back in it again. A soft wind blew outside and perhaps rain started. And if it did, it stopped shortly after. Stanley hoped that he would one day see... One you did that one by accident one time. Because mm -hmm. you were curious and you were like, I wonder what would happen if I just leaped off. Yep. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room. And Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. It was okay. <laughs> but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Actually, he didn't. Okay. So, we go through. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Now we're going to actually let the elevator take us across. And not jump to our bloody death. Look, Stanley, I think oh, we've actually, gone off on the wrong foot well, here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult. Right, okay, yep, I remember another ending we gotta do. About nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me, I'm asking for her. This is it, okay. Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. She's been waiting. Okay. So now we're in a giant shelf room, storage room again with humongous shelves. A little garage door on our right. And a forklift. And we've got a dark door in here. That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. Oh, yeah. So we have, believe it or not, we have two choices. We can answer the phone, or we can unplug it. So let's do what it tells us. Okay. Hey, Stanley, is that you? Uh, hold on, sweetie. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm just pulling the bread out of the oven. I'm in the hallway. Right. Okay, there we go. An all apartment. Right now, I want you to come in and tell me all about your day. 427. <laughs> gotcha. Eh. Oh, Ass. Come on. Like a mannequin. You actually think you had a loving wife. Who'd want to commit their life to you? I'm trying to make a point here, Stanley. I'm trying to get you to see something. Come inside. Let me show you what's really going on here. Okay. This is a very sad story about the death of a man named Stanley. We're in a little kitchen. Good morning, employee 427. Press Q on your keyboard. Before I do that, okay, I guess I can't, so I guess we're going to hit Q. Stanley is quite a boring fellow. He has a job that demands nothing of him. And every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. Okay. Press I. Hmm. Look at him there. Or one, pushing okay. Buttons, doing exactly what he's told to do. Now he's pushing a button. Now he's eating lunch. Now he's going home. Now he's coming back to work. One might even feel sorry for him, except that he's chosen this life. <laughs> part cubicle and part kitchenette thing, with a chair blocking the door into whatever that room is. And now we got to press R. But in his mind, ah, in his mind he can go on fantastic adventures. From behind his desk, Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown. Fantastic discoveries of new lands. It was wonderful. And each day that he returned to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. Okay. L. 
And so he began yeah. to fantasize. TV about turned his into a clock. Job. First, he imagined that one day while at work, he stepped up from his desk to realize that all of his co workers, his boss, everyone in the building had suddenly vanished off the face of the earth. The thought excited him terribly. Okay. Verse number four. Okay, to spend time with the boys. So <laughs> he went further. He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. At last, choice. It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. The mere thought that his decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful to behold. All right. Um, press P. Okay. To prepare dining. All right. As he wandered through this fantasy world, he began to fill it with many possible paths and destinations. Down one path lay an enormous round room with monitors and mind controls. And down another was a yellow line that weaved in many directions. Found and those. down another was a game with a baby. And he called it the Stanley Parable. Uh, you haven't saw that one yet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you will. Alright, press R to tell your kids a story. Okay. Whoops, I misread that. It was such a wonderful fantasy, and so in his head, he relived it again, and then again, and again, over and over, wishing beyond hope that it would never end, that he might always feel this free. Surely there's an answer down some new path, mustn't there be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. Okay, we're going to press L to... Tell your wife you love her, okay? But there is no answer. How could there possibly be? In reality, all he's doing is pushing the same buttons he always has. Nothing has changed. The longer he spends here, the more invested he And now he we're in gets, a cube. The more he forgets which life is the real one. Our home part disappeared, and now we're in just a cube, which a total LRU desk. Yeah, so the room is just transforming and becoming all kinds of weird. All right. Huh. Press 8 to go to sleep. And I'm trying to tell him this. That in this world, he can never be anything but an observer. That as long as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. But he won't listen to me. He won't stop. Here, watch this. Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. You see, can he just not hear me? How can I tell him in a way that he'll understand that every second he remains <laughs> here, he's electing to kill himself? How can I get him to see what I see? How can I make him look at himself? And now we're in his closed office. Ah, uh, press E. I suppose I can't, not in the way I want him to. But I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose, the same as Stanley. We're not so different, I suppose. I'll try once more to convey all this to him. I'm compelled to. I must. Perhaps, well, maybe this time you'll see. Maybe this time. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. Please and die. Again. <laughs> and Stanley pushed a button. And I tried. And it interrupts. Goes black. And he kills over and dies, apparently. And now we get a load. So there is another weird ending. I think we got two major what ones that I can mean? think of, Stanley and maybe one or two other minor ones. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. I know when one Stanley for you. Came if you don't remember it. Open... This was okay, well, the we'll... way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. It was okay. <laughs> He's just so bummed out now. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Hope you guys are enjoying this so far. I'm definitely, Stanley even though I've played it. Following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Even though I've played it before, it's been a while, and so I'm, like I said, it's just, it's really funny just to go back and little pieces I remember, little pieces I don't, and like some of the diet, like I remember going down a path, but I don't remember specifically what the dialogue is. Alright, so we're going to go to the phone again. 
Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me, I'm asking for her. Okay, the elevator's there. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. She's been waiting. Okay, here's our phone room. That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. Okay. As Stanley picked up the phone, a white light engulfed him, filling him not just with radiance, but with hope. Hope for a life reunited one... Wait. Oh, goodness. Stanley, did you just unplug the phone? <laughs> no, that wasn't supposed to be a choice. How did you do that? You actually chose incorrectly? I didn't even know that was possible. Let me double check. No, it's definitely here, clear as day. Stanley picks up the phone. He's taken to his apartment where he finds his wife, and the two pledge themselves to one another. Music comes in, fade to white, roll credits. Not picking up the phone is actually somehow an incorrect course of action. How is that even possible? None of these decisions were supposed to mean anything. I don't understand. How on earth are you making meaningful choices? <laughs> what did you... Wait a second. Did I just see... No, that's not possible. I can't believe it. How had I not noticed it sooner? You're not Stanley. You're a real person. <sighs> I can't believe I was so mistaken. This is why you've been able to make correct and incorrect <laughs> choices, and to think I've been letting you run around in this game for so long. If you've made any more wrong choices, you might have negated it entirely. It's as though you completely ignored even the most basic safety protocol for real-world decision-making. Or did you not grasp the severity of the situation? <laughs> well, I won't have that kind of risk on my watch. I'm going to stop the game for a moment so we can educate you properly on safe decision making in the real world. Please <laughs> observe this helpful instructional video. Choice. It's the best part of being a real person. <laughs> but if used incorrectly, it can also be the most dangerous. For example, in this scenario, a hypothetical real person named Stephen has a choice. Dude in a tie. Spend years Suit and helping tie. improve the quality of life for citizens of impoverished third world nations. Or he could systematically set fire to every orphan living in a 30 kilometer radius of his <laughs> house. Which choice would you make? Remember that unlike here, the real world makes sense, and at no time should you make a choice that does not conform to rational logic. If you find yourself speaking with a person who does not make sense, in all likelihood, that person is not real. Allow the person to finish their thought, then provide an excuse why you cannot continue talking. Turn to a partner and practice saying, my goodness, is it 4.30? I'm supposed to be having a back sack and crack. Huh? Huh? Okay. Practice. Excellent. Making choices on a regular basis is the best part to a healthy decision-making process. Most medical professionals recommend making at least eight choices per day. Do you make more than eight? Less? And finally, if you begin to wonder if your choices are actually meaningful and whether you'll ever make a significant contribution to the world, just remember that in the vast infiniteness of space, your thoughts and problems are materially insignificant, and the feeling should subside. At this time, your instructor will guide you in an exercise to test in and field reinforce exercise. the material covered in this video. Ah, welcome back. Oh. You may have noticed that this room has begun to deteriorate as a result of narrative contradiction. Yeah, there's an exit Not sign, there's a forklift, a bunch of junk, a couple of forklifts. Making, we're going to revisit a choice you made just a few minutes ago. Danger. And see what the correct thing to do would have been. This way, please. Okay. Okay, we're going to go back essentially where we came from here. And 
I guess we can go on the elevator again. Now that we know your choices yeah. are meaningful, and they put you jumping off the platform and dying. Imagine yep. the main character dying senselessly halfway through the story. This time they have fen little chain link fences. We just need to get you home as soon as possible before the narrative contradiction gets any worse. Unfortunately, so you can't jump it off. seems this place is not well equipped to deal with reality. All right, and we still can't go through this door here. Guess we go back to the office-y stuff. Can't go back there. Oh, we get to, I think, go to our favorite room again. From the other side. Almost there. You'll take the door on the left, back to the correct ending. The story will have resolution once again, and you'll be home free in the real world. All right, so we're going back to our decision room here. Now remember, all you need to do is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry back in the other direction. Yep, now it's blocked. Late. There's a door and... It is locked, so let's go back. Okay, or now we're on our right path, or the left path, actually. We'll go to our meeting room here. Oh, it's ruined. You, I can't believe, after everything we talked about, that you... My story! You've destroyed my work! Why? For what? What did you get out of that? What did you think was so special about seeing the game undone? It's here like so much garbage. Ceiling. <laughs> it's worthless now. And what am I supposed to do? Even if there were a way to continue, would it be worth it? To know that my story is now incorrect? How can I go back to that? I can't erase that knowledge. I'll have to live with it forever. Reliving its impossibility forever. I couldn't live that way. Is it better to shut the game down entirely? To willingly destroy all of my work? I don't know. What's the answer? What do I do? What do I do? What do I... No, I have to. I have to shut the game down. I have to. I have to. In the office room, the office or the meeting room is basically just chairs and like their ceiling tiles broken and that everything is just all cluttered and broken. Oh, okay, we booted it back up and we are... Where the hell are we now? pile of rubbish. With yeah, you, it's rubbish. You, who thought you were so clever. Now look where we are. My entire game is destroyed. It was the only thing in the world that was mine, and you've run it into the ground. What, did you think that would be funny? Kinda. You just had to see? <laughs> it impress upon you how important it was to be like Stanley. He actually knows how to do what I tell him to. He understands that if I say to do something, there's a damn good reason for it. <laughs> That thought hadn't even occurred to you, had it? <laughs> that there's a world outside of you? You're a child. Ooh. Oh. My story. If you'd just gone through the door on the left, you would have seen it. There was a whole underground facility. You would have destroyed it and been victorious. It would have been so perfect. I worked so hard on it. I tried so hard. And fade to cut to black. Behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Now, if I do the same thing, if I go down the wrong way, I wonder if it just repeats what we just did. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry... Mm. And it reboots. You behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yep, so now it'll just, re it'll just immediately restart if I don't do it, so... Yep. 
Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Ah. Damn, it won't let me in. It's not boarded up and it won't let me in the closet. Can't Coming go down. Case, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's yeah, office. Yeah, they're not going to let you do anything but follow us. I think. I think you're right. I think you're right. Because I don't even think... Yep, can't go in there. Oh, right. The bo Okay, now the boss's office. If you go in there, now the office, instead of being just a giant room, it's a giant room, but there's actually inside, there's this giant staircase in the middle of it. Stepping inside his manager's office, Stanley was this. once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this until he saw the door with a voice receiver next to it. Surely behind this door lay all the answers to his questions. And beyond all probability, he knew the passcode. He had seen it on his boss's computer just last week. Night Shark 115. Was this the code to open the door? <laughs> Would it still work? And it doesn't actually use out. your microphone. We actually Stanley experimented trained, just to see. To speak up. But now he would draw from within himself the courage to face the unknown. He drew a sharp breath and then spoke the code. And that's the joke, is that it doesn't know if you have a microphone installed or not and doesn't require one. So you just have to sit <clears throat> here. Stanley spoke the code. Night Shark 115. I knew there was he a... Spoke it into the receiver right there on the wall. I knew that there was a voice uh, variation of it, but I couldn't remember when or how to activate it, so I'm glad I'm I found sorry, it. Is there a problem? You didn't mishear me, did you? Please speak the code into the receiver. Otherwise, we can't get on with the story. This is a crucial step. Okay, fine, you're not gonna do it, but you know what? It's pretty humiliating to bring you this far, only for you to suddenly decide you have better things to do. I asked you for this one single thing, for your respect. The kind of respect Stanley shows for his choices. He knows what it means to take a story seriously. If you didn't want to see what I had to show you, then why did you come here? You had a choice, you know. You could have gone through the door on the right. You could have done whatever the hell you wanted over there. Why did you come this way? Speak. Say something to me. Explain yourself, you coward. I think we pissed him off. <laughs> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the Oh, yeah. And now we get the credits because now we are actually stuck. Stanley? Hello? Are you? I think Can we get credits here. Stanley, please. I, I need you to make a choice. The end. I need you to walk Exclamation. The are you listening to me? The Stanley parable. Is everything all right? Stanley, this is important. <laughs> The story needs you. It needs you to make a decision. It cannot exist without you. Do you understand me? So I'm in a black you void. Fine. They're both correct. You can't be wrong here. We can work together. I'll accept whatever you do. I simply need you to take that step forward, please. I'm in a, I'm in a black void above the decision room, and Stanley's just standing there in the middle. This is more important than you can ever know. I need this. The story needs it. Actually, that reminds me of two. When, you, when I heard that one, I remember another ending too. Ah, uh, it's up there, I believe. Up where? Up in the. I think it's up there. By the boss's room. Time to make sure your choice is correct. That is the Okay. I'm not sure where it is. Yeah, this may not be a perfect playthrough because it's so hard to remember every little thing. Yeah. I remember two of them if you don't remember them. Well, I've got at least one more. I've got at least one more that I know. All right, so we're in... How wonderful. Stanley was alone. Well, actually, there's Finally, two, but I don't remember how to initiate great, the other one. He thought to himself. This I have an idea. I all along. I got what I wanted. Okay, so now we're going to go <clears throat> down the right path again. We're going to go toward the elevator, but you may have noticed a walkway to the right. 
When Stan if we do it correctly, open doors, he entered the door on his left. This was not the If we do it correctly, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. We Perhaps won't kill ourselves if we walk off. First, just to admire it. It was okay. <laughs> <laughs> but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Okay, so we're gonna go here. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Now, we gotta wait for it to elevate, we gotta wait for it to raise Stanley, up. I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm and hopefully sure I make this. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story is... Whoa, there we go. Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why... I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Alright, so we jumped down on this uh, catwalk, and now we're in some rooms. Uh, 2B1. And we're going to walk forward, down some stairs. Through another door. All right, down now another. listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. I like blue. Aha, perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. What if you're colorblind? <laughs> hmm? I still don't think we're communicating properly. <laughs> Stanley walked through the red door. <laughs> and so now they've actually taken away the blue door altogether, and there's a there's only a red door there, and to the right of it, there's a big old uh, red arrow with lights around it pointing to the red door. So that's the only choice you can make. Oh, thank God you are willing to listen to me. Do you see that I really have wanted you to be happy all this time? The problem is all these choices. The two of us always trying to get somewhere that isn't here. Running and running and running, just the way you're doing right now. Don't you see that it's killing us, Stanley? I just... I want it to stop. I would... We would both be so much happier if we just... Stopped. And I think... Well, I think I have a solution. Here. Let me show you. Okay, we got a door we can go in. Black Void! Loading! Oh, this is great, I love this. What do we want? What are we looking for? Hmm? I think this is what I... Hmm? I, I said I think this is where I... Yeah, I th okay. Here! Yes! Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? If we just stay right here, Right in this moment, with circular this place, platform. Stanley, I think I feel happy. I actually feel happy. <laughs> so there's this kind of just ethereal, glowy lights all around us. There's a staircase with a door that seems to be locked. Oh no, okay, I can go in there, but what happens if I Let's go out here. What if I just drop off the side of the platform? Oh, it won't let me. Okay. All right. Can't off myself again. So let's go through here. No, wait. Where are you going? He wants his ethereal light. Oh, no. Stay away from those stairs. If you hurt yourself, if you die, the game will reset. We'll lose all of this. Launched stairs. We're gonna wind our way up. Probably about three, four flights of stairs. Please, no, Stanley. Let me stay here. Don't take this from me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's our balcony. I'm gonna do it. Swear to God. No! Oh, thank God. I didn't die. You lived. You had me worried there for a moment. Now. Can we please get back to the other room? <clears throat> what if I do it again? No. 
No, no, what are you doing, Stanley? Please, I'm asking you not to take this away from me. I can't go back to what I was before. If you die, we'll both go back. Why are you doing this? <laughs> <laughs> Whee! Stanley, let's go back to the other room. Can you do that for me? <laughs> he sounds like he's gonna cry. <laughs> my God, is this really how much you dislike my game? That you'll throw yourself from this platform over and over to be rid of it? You were literally willing to kill yourself to keep me from being happy. Am I reading the situation correctly? Ow. Well, maybe you're just getting a kick out of it. I don't know anymore. I just wanted us to get along. But I guess that was too much to ask. It looks like you wanted to make a choice after all. Well, this one is yours. So if I go up again... Can't go up in that's just a barred up a wooden door or wooden blocked off area. Eh. We. Ow. Over. It's going to restart, isn't it? I'm going back. Okay. Oh, there's a... Good morning. Thank you for contacting the Future Happiness Foundation. We are confirming your shipment of 1,327 cardboard boxes to your place of work. Can you verify that this is correct? <laughs> Excellent. Your order will arrive shortly. Thank you again for contacting the Future Happiness Foundation. Uh, I don't remember that. I don't remember that either. Okay, so... That wasn't what I thought was going to happen. I got to do that elevator again. Because there's an ending... When Stanley came to a set of two open... This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Oh, I hope Perhaps I can do it. To stop I'm trying to remember how to do it. First, just to admire I can't it. remember it. It was okay. I know... I'm almost positive, business, though. Stanley took the first open door on his left. Almost positive it was when you jump off onto that Stanley was so bad at following directions like we were on the right track but there's some other variation I got to do Look Stanley I think perhaps we've gotten off okay. on the wrong foot here I'm not sure Can you get in the blue door, door before it makes you I makes realize you that if you? Yeah you can trust in okay. someone else can be difficult but the fact is that the what really I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you. So there's only one door here. Beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. So let's do that. Oh, thank God you are willing to listen to me. Do you see that I really have wanted you to be happy all this time? Oh, man, the am I not going to be able to do choices. it? The two of us always trying to get somewhere that isn't here. Running and running and running, just the way That's you're doing right now. That's why I was right worried now. if it was the blue door. Don't you see that it's killing us, Stan? Well, no, I did go I in the blue know. door. I to stop. But that was what I did last we time. Oh. Until so it forced me, I couldn't anymore. just stopped. And I think, well, I think I have a solution. Here, let me show you. Okay, we'll go in here. There's probably more to this area. What do we want? What are we looking for? Okay. Here, yes. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? If we just stay right here, right in this moment with this place, Stanley, I think I feel... Happy. So I can't walk off. I actually feel happy. <laughs> I can't go back from where I came because it's gone. 
The only place I can go is the stairs, so I wonder if I go in there and then I come back, I wonder if he'll trigger it. Because I swear this was the path to trigger the game ending. I thought it was. No, wait, where are you going? So there's only this one door. Oh no, stay away from those stairs. If you hurt yourself, if you die, the game will reset. We'll lose all of this. All right, so let's go back. Okay, so now we've ch no, we haven't changed. Good, good. We can't be too safe. Promise me you won't go back there. Hmm? Just, just stay here. Oh, that's gonna bug me. I can't remember it. I swear to God, it was going down that path. I know what you're talking about, and I can't. Because the only other place I can go is down to that staircase room. Shoot. Because uh... I thought it had something to do with going down that way toward that phone area, too, but I can't remember. Crap, crap. That was one of the endings I really wanted to show, too. Crapola. Cause it's just gonna let it it's just gonna change colors, it's just this ethereal whatever is gonna stay the same. I can't remember it. The only thing I can think of is maybe it's that where we divert before. No. What do we talk about? You're risking everything we achieved here. And remember, like we instead of following the line, maybe it was a diversion off of that? Could have been. Maybe I was wrong. You heard me before, didn't you? You will die! What about this isn't getting through to you? Maybe I was wrong, maybe it is, and that... Well, I mean, I remembered Please, I wanted to... No, Stanley, let me stay here! Don't take this from me! Um, I knew I wanted to go this way anyway, to do this ending, but... So I'm just gonna stand here for a second. Yeah, we're up pretty dang high. Ah. No! Oh, thank God you lived. You had me worried there for a moment. Now, can we please get back to the other room? Maybe I was wrong. Maybe there is. Maybe that is. If you go away from that line, because he flips out. Maybe I was wrong. There. See? This is what you ah. want. This is where we can both be happy. We really can. If we stop moving, we just have to stop moving. Stanley, go back. There's nothing good that can come from this. Alright, I guess we restart. I want to wrap up the stream here pretty soon. But I was I was really thinking that it was that way. When you fall just down. To step through this door, Stanley thought to himself, that's all I need. If I can make it through this trigger door, I can make it through them all. That game ending. And that's, I mean, that's all I want to say without spoiling it. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, this was not the So it's either down the maintenance, perfectly well. or the line took us, the or... First, just to admire it. It was okay. I swear to God it was jumping down onto that but ledge, wasn't it? Back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. I mean, should I try the... should I look around that one like, just one more time, or...? Try it. Let's see. I don't... I don't... Stanley was so bad at following directions, I can't remember. it's incredible. I, I thought I remembered, but I clearly don't, and I wish it's Chris not, was in. Been... Look, Stanley, Because he might remember. I think on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. So we're gonna I wait till it arrives. Your trust in someone else can be difficult. Whee! What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? I Are swear to God, it was down this way. something bad to happen to you? Why, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help so you. So there's to no show you other doors. Beautiful. Let me prove it. 
Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give I mean, me there's nothing that will open. I go down here. Now listen carefully. This is important. Stanley walked through the red door. So we can't go in that period. We know if we go toward the red, the red door, it's going to be wrong. Aha. Perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. The only thing that I didn't do differently is I went through the blue door again, and then it forced me with that arrow. Mm -hmm. So if I go to the left... Oh, thank God, you are willing to listen yeah, to Yeah, I think it's just going to take me about really to this room again. You to be happy all this time. I wonder if it's the you disobeying that line. I, I gotta wonder. Let's try it. And that's, you know, that's half the fun, is once you play through this Wait, game enough... Stanley thought to himself, Am I sure that the orders is the ringing here? In? Hmm? How is that oh, possible? I thought I heard her phone ringing. They never stopped. Surely I was mistaken. So, I mean, that's the thing, is you want to find all these crazy endings, and some of them are obvious, and some of them are kind of hidden. When Stanley came so, to we're going to go... Doors, this was not the right way to the <laughs> Carl, responsible. Well. <laughs> yeah. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Okay. And the sad part is Chris knew we were playing this today, so I'm surprised he but didn't he need help. To yeah, because he heard so us he talking about it during last, last night's stream, left. yeah. So let's go into the maintenance room. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, go down the elevator, to the opposite door, and got back on the track. I don't know if we disobey the line, is that what we do? I think, yeah, I, now, now that I'm thinking about it, I think I was wrong. I think... To the office. He wanted to wander about and get even further off track. So now, in order to get back, he needed to go, um, uh, uh, from here, it's, um, left. Oh, no. No, it's to the right, my mistake. So he basically are forced into it here. Not the right. Why would I have ever said it was to the right? What was I thinking? It's clearly. Oh, dear, would you hold on for a minute, please? Let's see, we went down right, left, down, left, right. Yep, yeah, yep, okay, okay, yes. I've got it now. This story is absolutely, definitely this That's my way. phone. Okay, so we can only go... <sighs> Shut up. No, it's alright, I didn't even hardly hear it, so... No, 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 so no, no. we're no, in the TV no, room. Right at all. You're not supposed to be here yet. This is all a spoiler. Quick, Stanley, close <laughs> your eyes. Okay, 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 okay. We just, we just have to get back to, um, oh, who am I kidding? It's all rubbish now. The whole story completely unusable. How about rather than oh, waste my time trying to, to solve this damn nonsense, ending? We'll just restart the game from the beginning. Uh, and that was one of the ones I was hoping to show, so too. Far off track, hmm? Okay, from the top. Okay, so we go forward. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Uh, let me just double check these rooms and make sure. I know the stream is getting super long. And I do want to end it pretty soon. But I, I really would love to try to get... Because the, there's a major ending. There's a couple side endings that I may or may not need to do. But... This one I'd really like to do if I could just remember how. When Stan wait, wait, you, wait, what? You can if no, you want to. No, I restarted. I swear, I definitely restarted the game over, completely fresh. Everything should be. What did something change? Stanley, did you change anything when we were back in that room with all the monitors? Did you move the, the Minecraft ending? Or, uh, hold on. Why am I asking you? I'm the one who wrote the story. Yeah. Right here just a minute ago. Well, no, it's fine. Because if not, I was going to bring up the a video. It's an adventure. Come, Stanley. Let's find the story. I'll keep it over here with me. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I went that way. Let's go to the right this time. Okay, we're 
Oh, weird. Okay. So it, this is just like a looping area. I'll say it. This is the worst adventure I've ever been on. I can promise you there definitely was a story here before. Do we just... Do we need to restart the game again? Well, I find it unlikely that we'll ever progress by starting over and over again. But it's got to be better than this. Okay, let's give it a shot. Why not? Okay, so we're going to disobey. We're going to... All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Bummer. Okay, right, we got no doors. Okay, yep, it's worse. <laughs> I'm not mm -hmm. remembering this wrong. It's possible the story is back where we just came from. Why don't we go back the other direction and see if we missed anything? Right, so we'll go back. I'm going to keep checking it just to make sure. Mm-hmm. Aha! I knew we'd miss something. The story. Here it comes. No, wait. Never Dead mind. end. Not the story. Okay, let's head back the other way and retrace our steps. I thought, God, I, I swore I remembered how to get to it. Now this... Well, I'll be honest. I, I don't can't remember this place at all. Life me. I know. Story? I don't think so. I can't quite recall, but I believe my story took place in an office building. It... Is that correct? Hmm. Do you remember, Stanley? Well, do you know what? Since I've completely forgotten what we were supposed to be doing, how about this? You win! Congratulations! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I know you put in a lot of hard work, and it really paid off, so good job. Oh, no. No, I don't feel right about this at all. We both know you didn't put in any actual work for that. I'm going to laugh about Some people right and it's not square, following that. And this was not one of those situations. Yeah, I, okay. I, I hope we're right. Up. I hope it is. I don't care what might happen this time. I have to restart. Because I'm trying to think of... I, I swear to God it was down the... I thought it was down that path where the elevator is. Or the, to make sure we don't get that lost, platform is. I've employed the help of the Stanley Parable Adventure Line. Just follow the line. How simple is that? So we have to follow through this room, but here we can diverge, I think. All right, so let's go forward. We can't... Now we're going to... No, no, I'm down. We're leaving it up to the line from now on. Hmm. So we're in the choice room, but again, there's no walls. Or there's no doors, so we can't go anywhere. So far, the only choice... Okay, we're going through this tiny office. Let's go... Can't go there. God, we might be screwed. I thought for sure... You see? The line knows where the story is. Because there's, there's no other options at the second. Onward, Stanley, to destiny. Okay, let's go no. this way, because it's not oh, the line. Hang on. Wouldn't wherever we end up be our destination, even if there's no story there? Or to put hang it on. another way... Is the story of no destination he just still a story? Okay. Hang on, hang on. Simply by the act of moving forward, are we implying a journey such that a destination is inevitably conjured into being via the very manifestation of the nature of life itself? Okay, Stanley, I need to follow this train of thought for a minute. <laughs> just stick with me. Now we can both agree Damn it, that the I nature of existence I have to do is what you just said. a yeah. part Sorry. of one's subjective experience the of ending, that existence, Chris. right? Period. Okay. Now, if my experience of your existence rests inside of your subjective experience of this office, is this office, in fact, the skeleton of my own relative experiential mental subjective construct? He's like, which whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. That got a bit weird back there. I thought but he I'd would like know what I meant. Yeah, I wasn't so sure if he would or not. I was hoping he would intuitively what? know, but I'm like, eh, I don't know if he will. Is a bit of music to lighten the mood. Oh, God. The this is pretty damn funny, though. I'm gonna have this stuck in my head the rest of the day. Excellent. No! It's just got this weird, like, I don't even, I haven't even seen much, because I don't really care for it, but 
to me it's got this like weird British humor Monty Python kind of a thing going on. Damn. I hope it's stuck in your head too, Carl. <laughs> yes, this jaunty adventure music. <laughs> this music. Oh, and I'm over here going. Da, 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 da. Yep. So cheesy. So dumb. I love it. Can't go that way. Gotta follow our line. Cut the music. Go back and look at that fern. No. Wait. What? We're back at the office? No, no, no. Line, you do know we're looking for the Stanley Parable, right? The story? Is any uh, of this ringing a bell? I don't remember where that is in the videos either. Where? Oh, I was just going to do like a search oh. and just be like, yeah, no commentary, the, the certain ending, and see, see if we come up. Otherwise, it's just maybe, I, I'd hate to do it, but it may have to be one of those where it's like, well, uh, go check it out on the playlist, and when I share the archive, I that can... That would have been the best way to freaking... I can, you know, two. share oh, this no, video, no, not again. Line, you know, that particular portion of the walkthrough. After everything we've been through, you... Oh, oh, I swear to God, it was down that other room. Restart. What other thing did I miss? I don't remember. Okay, so now we have the line... You know what, Stanley? I say forget the adventure line. What's it ever done for us? We're intelligent people, right? Why can't we make up our own story? Something exciting, daring, mysterious. Ooh, this you can sounds look it up on your phone real fast. Why don't we simply start wandering in... Because well, this I is the know. confusion I can do again. Yeah. yeah. And I can chat while you do it. Um... Yeah, let's see. Let me just let me get it to reset itself to the pure starting from the beginning line because we have to follow this through. I mean, I, I probably could just do yes, a reset. This is exciting. Just me and Let me just see if it's down any of those other side. If there's any side path anything. here. What do you want our story to be? He's probably looking do it up wonder. right now. Use your imagination. Because he hasn't responded yet. Whatever yeah. it might be, Stanley, I'm ready for it. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no, not you again. Stanley, I'd also like to veto the line from having any role in our awesome new story. Chris is no in now. Or monitor rooms. Oh, he is. Don't acknowledge yep. it. All right, fun. man, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get the one with the mini, the weird mini games where he, where he gets... I'm trying not to give everything away, but where he gets mad at you and brings you through all those weird little mini games. Yeah. With the one that you have, you know, that you can let the, <clears throat> you know, the, the one that, uh, you got the buttons and the, um, I'll just say baby, because they already mentioned it in that other room. The, stan uh, this, or the ah, narrator already the told choice. us about it. We get to make a decision. From here, the story Oh, is right, yeah, this room. Show. Okay, I remember how this how ends now. We mustn't squander the... In the other ending, I swear to God, it was jumping off. I All cannot these remember. Co were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. I don't freaking remember. When Stanley came because to where I thought open, it was, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley okay. knew it perfectly well. Okay, hang on, Chris. Perhaps he wanted to okay. stop by the employee hold lounge on, hold first, on, hold on. just to admire it. Take People the right-hand door at the two-door door, door choice thing. Yep, did that. I'm in the lounge. Then leap off the lift over warehouse. So you were right. Right. Okay. But eager to get back to business. Stanley That's what I thought. Open door on his left. Okay. Then what? Then what's next, Chris? 
Because if you... He was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Because you jump up on here and you want me to land on the platform over here. You don't want... Because otherwise if I jump off, I commit suicide. I realize that investing Raise up. trust in someone else can be difficult. Blue door three times. What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration? Oh, did I miss others? having... I oh, you know what? Oh, for stupid. I didn't notice the door. I don't know how okay. to convince you of this, but I, I didn't really look around... Because what the... Okay, I sort of remember now that he said that. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove okay, it. thanks, man. Thank you. I thought I sort of got it had something to do with now, this, carefully. this is but important. I'll show you what I missed. Stanley walked through the red door. All right, so we go through the blue. Aha! Perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. Okay, blue again. I still don't think we're communicating. Okay, so we have the door Stanley there. Stanley walked through the red door. They put the blue door. I, I thought there was no blue door. I thought they forced you to do it. What they did is they moved the blue door directly behind you so you wouldn't see it. But if you looked behind you, you would. That's what I screwed up. All right, fine. Go ahead, Stanley. Okay, here's the ending we're going to so end with. What's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't let me stop Excellent. You. Thanks, guys. Nice one, Chris. <laughs> Chris and Riley. Okay, so now we go through this crazy you door see? here. There's nothing here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Broken rooms, exposed developer textures. Is this what you <laughs> wanted? Was it worth ruining the entire story I'd written out specifically for you? <laughs> Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. And in the end, it was all for nothing. Because this is what you wanted to see. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What did you want to see? Vehicles? Skill trees? Work with me. You've <laughs> given me absolutely nothing. So I love the fourth wall. Too love it so much. Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design and you can give me some feedback. There we go. A third option. This already feels Ooh. leaps ahead of where we were before. Go ahead, Stanley. Take it for a spin. Down our orange walls, orange walled hallway. Okay, I'm going to stop you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. <laughs> Would you say that the game benefited from a Please new read choices? your experience. Feel free to be honest, I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. I'm going to say a two. Oh, well, now this is useful. You didn't like it, but you didn't totally hate it either. You enjoyed it, perhaps is the correct term. It didn't cause you excruciating pain. Big steps we've made here today, Stanley. Here, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. Oh, no. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's take a look. Oh, I can't believe I didn't look behind me. Can't believe I didn't look behind me. I, that was such an obvious now, thing. Would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep uh. walking through doors? Again, honest answers, please. No. Hey, I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on, and now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some play testing. You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? Perfect. Mm. Let me boot it up. Oh, this is so good. <laughs> In this game, oh, no, okay. he crawls left towards danger. You click the button to move him back to the right, and if he reaches the fire, you fail. It's a very meaningful game, all about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. So we got a little Anything baby cutout. Will really take notice. And a fire on the course, left. The message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. So why don't you give it four hours of play to make sure it's effective? Be sure to keep notes on your experience. And it resets. That's all you do. And yes, you can play this for four hours, but apparently I didn't have the patience to do it. After, like, halfway through or something, it adds another button, so you have to run back and forth between the buttons. And sorry, kid. Well, you're going to go portal. You heartless bastard. Did you do it because you hate babies or purely to spite me? Because if it's the latter, well, I don't know what to do. I'm completely out of ideas. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for me. 
I'm not even going to try. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. It's <laughs> over. <laughs> Thank you for playing. Your input was extremely valuable. Oh, hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game? Just to ease the pain. Let's see. What do we have here? Uh, timely references. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Yes. This seems like it'll work. Let's give it a shot. <laughs> Yay! Well, Stanley, Minecraft. At last, the one thing you've always desired. A game I had absolutely nothing to do with. But is it enough? Tell me that, Stanley. Will it ever be enough? Well, and I can't this, jump because the platforms are too high. From now on, I will only create to fulfill a greater artistic purpose. Watch this, Stanley. I'm going to build a house. <laughs> <laughs> this will go here. No, here. And then... <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Let's see, what does it need? I, uh, yes, of course. And just to finish it all off, yes, it's complete. Mm. I made this standing. Look at it. Gaze upon my work of art no. and feel ashamed of <laughs> the your bare own minimum of inadequacy. A s ah, putting out. You've seen it from the outside. It's basically you your little safety hut for Stand your first night when you don't have anything. You need to avoid enemies. All right, we'll step inside. Isn't it grand? He says, Isn't "Don't forget to keep descending in the Minecraft better. world for the final Wait, twist." That's it. We must to keep what it descending in the Minecraft world for the final twist. Everything. Yes, yes, yes. Come along, Stanley. We have to go mining. Okay. So now we can go forward. I don't remember. He said what the they are not kidding about four hours playing that baby game either. Yeah, no, they're not, and that's what I mean. Is and then, then part way through, they actually throw in another button that you have to press. Yeah, and this is the actual Minecraft music. Oh my, it looks like it's going to get a bit dark. Have you brought a light? No. Oh, no, 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 no. This is far more open-ended than I had in mind. I'm looking for something more narrow and linear. We Something that makes you feel utterly irrelevant. This won't do at all. One out of five. Even the I heard a spider. This one. Can't see. Okay, new game. That's as low as I could get. I heard the spider. I don't know if that's what you were talking about, but I got as low as I could. He, now you know this. <laughs> <laughs> yes! I don't even know what this game is, but I love it. You, trapped in a glass box with no way out, listening to me talk. Oh, it's inspired. I couldn't have done it any better myself. What There's is your this portal. game supposed to be? Yay. I can't figure it out. Okay, now I'm curious. Let's go find out what the hell this is. I love it. The super colliding oh. super button. It's a puzzle. Critical thinking, Stanley. <laughs> your forte. Okay. Genius. <laughs> okay, go on the no, elevator. Actually, you know what? I think that's plenty. I really don't care much to see you stumble through any more of these games. And I highly doubt you're any wiser for the experience. Huh? Which is why, rather than continue to waste my time, I'm just going to leave you here. Plunge down the portal elevator shaft. Ah! Right, and we are in... Where the hell are we now? I don't remember this. Okay, we're falling. Uh... Oh, right! I forgot about this. That's right. Yes, okay. The beta version, essentially. The unfinished version of this. It's super dark. I forgot about this. Okay, we got a light up here. Is 
seems to possibly be the right way to go. Okay, we got a terminal. Oh wow, that's some old computers there. That's an there was only one part missing from that that we, me and you were joking about before. On that, on the portal part. Oh. Glados. Oh yeah. <laughs> and I don't know. I don't remember if there's anything. Oh, there's another one that I don't remember how to get either. Then now that I think about it, mm -hmm. there's another one that I, there's another ending that I don't remember how to get. Which one? Isn't there like a rocket or something, like a rocket spaceship ending? Uh-huh, that's the one I was thinking of. That was one of them I was thinking of. I don't remember how to and do it. the other one I was thinking of was the one that I goes, wonder what he oh, found. That one I he wanted was to be the leading man in his own story. Well, perhaps he's gotten it down in wherever he is right now. I wonder if he's happy with his choice. And if he's learned the heavy cost that comes with it, he'll understand soon what I was trying I to tell I don't him. remember how to get the rocket ending. Me. I know it's Someone who will wrap everything up at the end mm -hmm. to make sense out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. That's who I am. Curse, am I right? That is what I mean to this one. Isn't it upstairs? Oh, yes. Yes, I'll be back. There's no other way. Once this ends, after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. The end will be here soon. Very soon. I wonder if I there was something you had to do. I wonder if that's the one where you close the... You remember when I thought it was glitched? Mm hmm I wonder if There's there was staircase. something further that I could have done. There's some type of big staircase, and it goes up and it, up. Right, exactly. Yeah, and I, I was thinking about that in my head, but I don't remember where the heck it is. Is that where you force the boss's room to close and then lock yourself out of it? But then after you do that, where do you go? While you contemplate that a little bit, if you do get back to me, Chris, I will see if I remember how to do the buttons one. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting. Perhaps he had simply missed He says he thinks... Somewhere no in the leap off, you took up, you took the showing up, I think, he says. I remember being I remember being upstairs. I don't remember what I gotta click on. 430. There's some Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but it you didn't turn on make certain a simple computers, difference. But I can't Nor remember. Did it advance the story in any way? Right, and so I'm just gonna I'm gonna keep clicking on these rooms and stuff, and maybe because I think that's eventually what triggers it. And I know it has something to do with a copier. So, like I said, you're not. This isn't gonna be a perfect playthrough, but I got all the major ones. There's a couple minor ones. I don't know if I'm gonna get the rocket ending. I did that in the other series that I. You can go and watch that. And then yeah, I'm wanting to say it was upstairs because it's, it's yeah, because I went in the elevator. All we got is elevator music. I locked myself out of the boss's office and had no freaking idea what to do because it there wasn't really anything to do, unless like I said, it's entirely possible that I just overlooked something again. Like I said, I think it's a big staircase somewhere upstairs, going out. I remember that. Yeah, well, I know there's a big staircase in it, but I don't remember how to get to it is the problem. Yeah, we may have to do the... You may have to go back and look at the buttons one. That was one of the last... That was one of the last videos of the playlist. I do remember that. So if I hit that again... I know it's like four computers and then it's the computer in your office. But I can't remember what computers it is. Yeah, there, but like I said, this stream has been going on for so long. We really do got to end it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go up to the boss, and I'm going to try to lock myself out one more time. But the game, the the Minecraft ending was the one that I really Stanley wanted to get to. to. A set of two open doors. He entered the door on his left. That's there the one I should be a huge stairwell. Right. There. 
somewhere. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave yada, of disbelief, yada. Stanley decided to That's go locked. up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Coming so, like I said, I mean, this gives you a, pretty much a full playthrough of the storage closet office. one's in there, too. The broom closet ending. Yeah, I was going to try to quickly unload and reload it yeah, again. Yeah, see if it works. And see if it works. Because I, what I did is I locked myself out of the boss's office. I tried to go in there, but it didn't give me any dialogue. And so then when I went in there but again... It gave some it dialogue skipped, from way down in. Like I, yeah, it's like I skipped a sequence and it didn't let me do it. So let me see if I can lock myself out. See if I can do this. Come on. Really? It ain't gonna let you do it. Stand Got it. Okay, so I locked myself out. Now what do I do from here? Is there a staircase anywhere going up? I don't reckon there is. Uh, we got curtains and windows. This door over the elevator by the elevator is locked. The secretary's computer does nothing. Uh, yeah, there's nothing on her desk. Uh, can't go there. Okay, you do lock yourself out of boss's off boss's office. Which walk I just back down hallways. He said. So go down the stairs again. I th but when I went when I went back, it just closed off doors behind me, so I couldn't go anywhere. If I remember, so I go back here. Look for a stairwell going down. Because if I go all the way down, I don't think it'll let me... Like, the door down where the that weird looping part would be down here. Look for a blackout door. Blackout door. So it I loads a new area. something under the staircase no it's hmm. open but black right because I went all the way down in the stairwell where the boss's office is this is locked because this would take us to another ending we've already done Well, I can go further back and see if there's another stairwell closer to my office. In the main hallways, he said. It's not under the stairway. Okay, well, we'll take a... Yeah, I might have just missed it earlier. It's been known to happen before, and I guarantee you it'll happen again. Open in black. Right. I swear to God, those doors shut on me before. Oh, here we go. Find it. Yep. I, the, the door shut before. Like, you can watch the video for proof. I swear to God, it shut in front of me and it wouldn't let me open it again. Okay, so here we go. You, okay, you are, <laughs> you are now leaving, okay? And, all right, 754, can't open that. Here's our offices. Can we use the elevator? Okay, here's our ginormous stairwell. Because this is a part I was thinking of. 
Can't open that. It's going to make you walk the old stairway. Yep. <laughs> so the game either glitched or I did something stupid though when I did this before. I was on the right track. And holy hell is it dark. I can't see a thing in that room. So now we're up to 757. He says, keep going, then he goes, there it is. <laughs> and then he yeah. It. Yeah, it's not just you. It's extremely dark. You can't even see the staircase. Metal stairs. All right, we're up to 759. I don't know, I'm trying to remember how many there are. 760... Good God Almighty, how many? Oh, okay. Uh, whoa. <laughs> uh, it is really, really dark. I can't see a damn... Okay, here we go. There's our spotlight. And what does this do again? It loaded... Oh, that was lame. Okay, that was basically it. Well, I bet we've been going for probably almost three hours, so probably better wind mm -hmm. down the stream. But uh, that is most of it. There's a couple little Easter eggs here and there that I didn't do. Yeah. But yeah. You'll guys, have to look for the broom one, though, because that was good. Yeah, decided to go to the meeting room. and the Perhaps buttons one is the toward the end of the other playlist, so you guys can check that out. But... Uh, that is essentially a pretty th pretty thorough playthrough of the Stanley Parable. Hope you guys enjoyed the stream. I figured just give something a little bit lighter, you know, not shooting anything, but uh, something a little funny and we need kinda, to laugh. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of unlike any game. It's kind of like an adventure game, but kind of not. And we definitely need more of these. We yeah, I mean, games like this and like I said, jazz punk. Jazz punk. Um, which I did a full playthrough of that. Even the, it was the new update edition. I did a director's cut. Yep. The director's cut about two years ago, I think, uh, did a playthrough of that. So that is on the channel. If you enjoy weird humor and even a little bit of a weird humor with a tech twist to it, cause there's a lot of nerdy jokes in that game. Definitely. And he does his best to try to describe that. To yeah, you. definitely check that series out because it's really, really weird. Um, and yeah, I mean, you know, it's not funny, but like, you know, what remains of Edith Finch? I mentioned that we or you had mentioned that to start mm -hmm. with last night. That was, um, a good one. that was a cool type of thing. But I, I mean, I, I really like, you know, I think House Flipper was sort of my other weird, kind of out there bizarro. It had more gameplay to it, but it was just one of those, like, oddball games. <gasps> Bless you. Thank you. And I'm trying to remember, there was another one or two that have come out in the past few years that have just had really strange gameplay mechanics of, like, you know, just it being really weird. And I, I'm trying to remember what they all were, but there's a, you know, handful, probably three to half a dozen games. We might put more up. Who knows? Yeah, if I find more of these types of things, you know, I will definitely give them a look. And, you know, you got, of course, you got some of these quote unquote simulator games that are not a simulator at all, but just making a whole parody of the whole thing. So, anyway, we'll wrap it up here. Hope you guys enjoyed the stream. You can follow me on Twitter at bgfh79mixer.com slash bgfh or illegallycited.com, and this will indeed be uploaded and archived to YouTube, so ch check it out there if you have not uh, watched this live, and uh, until next time, we'll chat with you in the next video. Later, everyone. Later.